so as you probably saw by the cover or a title, I will be talking a lot in today's video. Since in a couple of days, Netflix is going to release season 2 for Shadows and Bones, I really want to talk about differences between books and the show. Don't get me wrong, the show is amazing, I love it, I already watched it like three times, but there is a lot of differences between books and the shows. On the beginning, when I saw one of them, I was extremely mad, because in a show the main character is Shu, but in a book she is really Rafkan and uh, she doesn't look Shu or something. This is just something that the show manager or director added, which I think was kind of unnecessary. I mean, I don't really see the point why they had to do it. I mean, I love the actress. She's an amazing actress, she's doing a great job. But the fact they say that she looks true, it's kind of unnecessary. Because it just wasn't in books, it, it's not that important, you can just stick to the things that were in books. If you wouldn't say anything about that, I think most of people would just didn't think about it. Next extremely small detail is that the fact that Mal and the Sun Summoner were traveling together in a book and they were talking and there were a couple of situations that showed their relationship and in the show they are meeting already in a place that they were traveling to and uh, I think those things are really extremely small details but they are making the whole story interesting. They are making the whole story like exactly like in the books and I think people that are making shows or movies from books should already know that we want exact same things. We don't want to see adaptations kinda inspired by books. No, we wanna see exactly the same thing. That's that's the whole point of the ad adaptation. But maybe some people would just say I am too needy or something, I don't know, like I shouldn't be so upset about those details. I mean, I'm not upset, it just... I'm just really shocked that people are doing it because it's not a, that, that big deal. You can just read the book and do exactly the same thing. You don't have to change like every small detail, which is kind of crazy and unnecessary. From the other hand, there are some changes that I kinda understand and which are actually pretty cool. I think they might be because directors didn't want to make extremely a lot of seasons and different parts and different names and etc etc. Because in the show we already see the Six of Crows and we saw Nina with her obviously Fjord and Man and uh, we see the Sun Summoner, which is kind of strange because in the books we see only Mal and the Sun Summoner and the Darkling, obviously, our favorite. And we don't even hear about the Six of Crows on Nina. The moment we start reading about it is in the second saga. Because if you don't know, there are three sagas which all of them have some parts, for example, the Shadow and Bones had three parts, the Crooked Kingdom had two, and there is a King of Scars, which is also, I think, two part series. And they kinda starting to mesh two first parts of two different sagas in one. The Nina story is indeed the right story, but the Six of Crows, they are just going in with different background, different mission, with the traveling through the fog, etc. And they are meeting the Sun Summoner and the Dark Link, which in my opinion was one of the best scene they have made. It obviously was added by the director, but I think it was the best scene they have made. If those scenes were in the books, I bet everybody would be loving it and talking about it. I mean, Cousin Darkling fighting as an enemies. It was just amazing. I... It might be the reason why I'm not so mad that they mashed those two characters, two books together. 
I mean, I could watch it all over again and again and again. It just... It hit the right spot. Honestly, I guess I would be mad about this mashup because, I mean, they are changing the timeline and they are kind of changing the story because since there are Six of Crows there, she's not traveling with some random troop, but she's traveling with the Six of Crows and they are helping her in some parts. So it's kind of changing the story, not that much. It's not that big of a deal, but it is kind of. I don't know actually how to explain it if you didn't read the books or didn't watch the show. Because the change is kinda subtle because of the stories keep going the same way and in the same direction. But at the same time the story have like these little spices that are different. And probably in most of the shows if they change this thing it's kinda actually maybe a big thing. I would be mad. I would be probably extremely mad if I don't know they put like first and a fifth book together in one. <laughs> but they did it so well. The timeline is kind of matching. The story is like sticking together and everything makes sense. The characters are still acting like they would in my opinion. They are still like extremely true to the characters in books. I am really able to believe that the characters would act like this and everything is so believable like if you would tell me that those things happened in a prequel by Six of Crows I would believe you, I would be like yeah sure it sounds like them, it's, it is them, okay bet. I have to just admit that whoever put this story together did an amazing research and uh, I don't think it could be done better, besides those small little details that I talked before. The last thing I want to say is the fact that I don't know if actors did read the books or did talk to Lady Bardugo or something, but they acted exactly like the characters in the book. Like for example, the Jasper, oh my god, the Jasper was just like somebody took him out of the book i i don't believe he's a true human being i believe that he was just put out of the book the same thing with Inej and kaz the darkling when i saw his pictures i was like no this isn't the darkling the darkling is really he's the female gaze i guess but <laughs> the bad one the bad female gaze and I looked at his pictures and I was pretty upset because I didn't see the resemblance. But the moment he started acting, the, the moment he just made the first step in a series, I was like, yeah, that's Darkling. I believe it now. He's put from out of the book and uh, I love him now. I can't unsee the Darkling in this actor now. And uh, the Mal, I hate Mal in the books. I don't know if I, uh, you already knew, but I hate him. The same with the Sun Summoner. I mean, love hate her. Like it's a love hate relationship with her. But the Mal, I hate from the beginning to the end. I just, I just hate him. And I saw him in a series. I saw his face, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't like this one. And I, and I saw it was Mal, and I was like, yeah, fair. I don't like him. Yeah, I, I just don't. I don't know why, I just don't like Mal, he's just kind of fake. So yeah, I guess this is everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I can't wait to the second season, I will be watching it. And uh, if you enjoy this video, I will probably make a part two where I will talk about the second season and the differences in the books. Because as I said before, I already read the books. So I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, see you in the next one.